Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to your arm workout. I'm Christina, your Christian fitness trainer. And today I have with me a guest friend, Andrea, who's gonna be co-teaching with me today. So go ahead and select light to medium dumbbells. And before we get started with our warm up, we're gonna go ahead and go into prayer and Andrea's gonna lead us in. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning and thank you for the opportunity to work out together. Father, in all facets of our life, Give us the courage to be accountable to one another for what we do and what we say, how we do it. And Father, create in us a heart that desires always to pursue not only fitness in our bodies, but in our relationship to you and our relationships to others. Father, that you would find us fit for duty for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, let's begin our warm up. All right. Okay. Here. So the first thing we want to do with warm up is let's start with some arm circles. Just go forward, come around, nice and easy. Just warm up those shoulders. There's nothing heavy duty. If all you've picked up this morning is your coffee cup, <laughs> that's the even stupid. The motion. Couple more forward. That feels good. Ooh, one more. Just. And range of motion doesn't matter. Just do your best. Now stop at the bottom and reach up and pull on back. Core in nice and tight. At the top, squeeze those shoulder blades. Retract those shoulders. Nice and warm. We're going to be doing some bicep curl to Arnold press. So we're going to be using those shoulders just a little. Ooh, a couple more. One more. All right, so set your arms up here and just rotate down. Oh my. And then up. Ooh, talk about warm already. Right? And again, range of motion is going to be different for everyone depending on where you are in your fitness journey. You're going to get warm. One more. All right, take this arm. Come on across, Ooh. just stretch. Reach those fingers out, get some blood flowing. Come across this way. There we go. All right, take this hand, come on back. Stretch that forearm. Push the palm of your hand out and stretch that forearm. Something we don't do nearly often enough, but we use, oh my word. Ooh. <laughs> Those are, those are the grocery lifting muscles, and we stretch them. All right, take your fingers together and push up. Now reach over, open up that core, and push your hands out, kind of like we're yawning. Come back to the top. Oh, now take your Wrist in your hand, pull down, and drop your ear. This is some neck and shoulder. Take some of the tension out of that. I mean, Go ahead. even if you weren't working out, this is such a great morning stretch. Mm. Right? Oh yes. Now we're gonna go to the back like we did to the front. I'll turn around, you can see. Retract your shoulder blades, lace your fingers together, pull your hands down. Squeeze those lats in, pull them out. Three, two, one. Okay, what we're gonna do is call a ballistic stretch. So take your arms, kind of like they're pool noodles, and just shake them out. Nice. Good enough, feel good. All right, so we've got some blood flow into the arms. It should be nice and warm. And getting ready for what our first move will be. It's a bicep curl to an Arnold press. You're gonna activate the bicep. You're gonna curl the weight up. You're gonna flip the weight and press up over your shoulder. Shake your arms out. All right, let's see, make sure you guys can hear everything all right. Audio is good. Thanks, Danielle. Thanks for letting us know. All right, good volume. All right. All right. We're gonna so, count down. You ready? Yep. Nine, eight, five, 
four, three, two, one. So bicep curl up, flip your weight, press over, pull down, there's your move. So you're gonna bicep curl, press, pull. You want to make sure in this range of motion that your core is engaged. So tuck that pelvis, pull your belly button in, engage that core. About 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish that set. All right, shake it out. We've got another one. We're gonna do three sets of that. So after that minute, it gives you a 10 second um, okay. Perfect, so we're gonna do another one of those, and then we'll do another one. So we'll do three sets of that. I'm gonna to turn to the side, and I want you to watch the activation. So anchor your heels, get those weights ready. Let's go, come on. Core engaged, pelvis pulled in. When you press up over, activate those shoulder blades. When you come down, squeeze your lats. Squeeze. This is total upper body and core in one compound move. Don't have to go fast. Don't have to be heavy. About 10 more seconds. One more. All righty. Reset. All right, we have one more of those. I know your arms should be warm. You can do this with water bottles. You can do this with cans. You can do it with body weight, simply by contracting the bicep and lifting and pressing overhead. Are you ready? Let's go. Come on. One more set of this. Our next set of work is a row to a tricep kickback. And again, something you can do with body weight. We're gonna focus on four. So when you pull down out of that shoulder press, squeeze those shoulder blades. I guarantee you'll get activation. Squeeze, reset. Oh. About 10 more seconds. You've got this. Now, if you have heavier weights and you can go heavier, do it. All right, come on, one more rep. Squeeze, press, contract, return. All right, the next one is a hinge row, a tricep kick, a return, and a reset. Are you ready? Ready. Come on. Row, kick, return. There you go. Now, Christina's going to continue that. A tricep kickback is not a fling. It's a squeeze the tricep, lift the weight. It doesn't matter if this is your lift or this is your lift. Engage that tricep. Row, tricep. Just by virtue of aging, we lose 
muscle mass. Right, it's just a process of aging. However, if regardless of when we start that strength training journey, we can slow or even reverse the process called sarcopenia. Amen. We don't want to be flabby or loose or floppy. We want to be strong. And that doesn't mean the biggest arms in the gym. Preach it. It just means we're strong. We can lift our groceries. We can lift our grandbabies. We can lift our babies. Ooh, shake it out in about you. Oh. Okay. My triceps are a little warm. <laughs> you ready? One more set. We're gonna row in that row. Okay, engage that core. Row up. Kick back. Reset. Return. Come on. Again, arms and upper body, but core is engaged. So, I'm gonna take a quick second here. Your core, ladies, everything from your armpit to the top of your hip. So, it's this whole thoracic cage right here. Belly button is just part of it. This part of your abs is just part of your core. When we talk about core, we talk about the whole thing. So, engage that core. Row, kick, reset. Make sure that you keep the knee just fine. Get a little hyper flex like this. Woo! Get up the burn. <laughs> Last set of work is lateral raise to front raise. So we're gonna lift, and we're gonna lift. Now on this one, take your time and squeeze and lift. You don't have to go above your shoulder, okay? If you need to, you can alternate arms. But your strength, ladies, in this one, comes from shoulders and core. So, tilt that pelvis, engage your core, engage your heels. There you go, Christina's got your modification right there. It is one at a time, and even one at a time here. Okay, you're still putting the work in. This is an excellent body weight move. You are engaging the muscles. Lifting the weight. You don't have to have weights for this. All right, take a second. Shake it out. Whoosh. We're talking about those grocery muscles right here. <laughs> Forearms, right? Forearms, yes. All right, let's go. Lift. Right to the top of your shoulders. Then again, engaging your core. I'm going to show you what this looks like if you don't have weights at home. You're just going to squeeze and squeeze. Lift. And I guarantee, whew, even unweighted. Right. And what happens when we squeeze our muscles? We contract, we encourage blood flow, and we relax. So, got that down. contracting <laughs> the muscle, when we squeeze, we contract the muscle, we activate the muscle. The weight is resistance. The work is in the contraction and the relaxation. It's creating muscle fatigue. So lifting and lowering. Beautiful. Ooh, shake it out. Very sorry. It's important to get that recovery. <laughs> Lots of water when we're done. Let's go. Come on. One more set. Ooh. Only. Three moves, three sets. If there's some work here, I guarantee it. Resist the urge to lean forward, stand nice and tall. And again, this is one of those, you can start out with body weight. Go to twos, go to threes. Before you know it, the weights get lighter. You 
out really, you get stronger. And guess what? Guess what we get rid of? We get rid of those bingo wings. They go away. <laughs> I'm <all> in. <laughs> the bingo wings go away. Come on. A little bit more. And done. Oh my. Wait for this last one. All right. I didn't realize you were doing shoulders last. I'm like, I'm just going to do a power punch at the end. <laughs> That's all good, though. We like working. And this one works your back, your shoulders, even your biceps, just everything and your core. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up those weights. We're going to start right away. Let's see. Three. We'll start in 10 seconds. So go ahead and bring your weights up. Now watch out that you're not punching the, like this way and leaning your body forward, it's just arm work, okay? Yeah, so, forward, I'll be behind okay, you. so press your heels into the floor, stand tall. Here we go. We got three more minutes of work. Smooth and controlled. Nice. So I know you just worked those shoulders, but you'll be okay. <laughs> we're doing fine. fine. I mean, we're tough. We're doing arms. This is what we do. Good. Every time you take your weight forward, do you feel your core working? You should. How are we doing, Andrea? Keep breathing. Keep breathing. It's so <laughs> important to breathe.
three, two, one. One and done. One and done. Ooh, Bring your waist down, bend your knees. Shake, shake, shake it off. All right, how'd you guys do? Ooh, arms are warm. Arms are warm. <laughs> so if you want to work legs today or go for a walk, you can. <laughs> Uh, those muscles didn't really get work, so definitely work those legs. All right, so let's go and take our arm across the chest. Rotate the wrist. It's not even 6 o'clock yet, and you're done. That's starting off your day right. Mm. Take your arm up and over the head. <laughs> oh, very steps. Feels good. Go lean over a little bit to the side. Feel a little deeper stretch. And release. Take it across to the other side. Great job today. Super proud of you for showing up and finishing strong. Let's do that wrist. Take it up and over the head. Nice. Lean over a little bit if you want. Beautiful. Release. Good. Let's take our hands back. If you can lace your fingers together, if you can't, then just grab on. And then press your hands back, shoulders down, open up the chest, lift the chin. Big inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, release. Release your hands forward. Good. Go ahead and take your shoulders forward, round them up. Nose to the floor. Let's stretch that upper back. Release. Good. Lift up your hands. Bring them down. Take a one big inhale through your nose. Arms come up towards the sky. Exhale, release. And your workout is complete, you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much.